Happy New Year's, everybody. The year has officially ended. It's very exciting. It's very cool. 2022 has been a pretty solid year of films. I've seen as much films as I can. Of course, there's, of course, films I have not seen this year. But today, I just want to talk about my top 10 films of the year, the films that I've seen this year that I truly, really, truly enjoy and loved. So, yeah, let's talk about it. Let's celebrate this, this year of films. And, yeah, I got my computer. So, yeah, so I can remember the... <laughs> The, the movies that I put on my top 10. So let's let's do this. Let's do number 10 is the film Tar. Yeah, this is a film that uh, I was kind of looking forward to it ever since the teaser. And when I actually went to see it in, in theaters, it was very much exciting. And I freaking thought the film was amazing. I thought the film, sorry, I dropped a lot of lights. I thought the film was amazing. It was very exciting seeing Todd Field and heard of him and I've heard how good of a director he is. So actually going to the cinema, to see a film of his that's a film that has amazing performances by Kate Blanchett. So I was very much looking forward to it and I was very much happy with it. So that was my, that's my number 10. Number 9 is the film Till. Till is a film that I didn't know shit about. I knew it was based on a true story about a young kid who kind of gets, gets murdered. Yeah, this film was very surprising. This film was very hard to watch. It's an amazing film from beginning to end and it was just... A fantastic a fantastic film and it was very hard to watch it's a film that I don't know if I see it again but it's a film that first watch it really stuck to me and it's a film that stuck to me to this year and awesome film number eight is Marcel and the show with shoes on this is a film that I was very much looking forward to seeing in theaters ever since seeing the trailer and how different it looks the animation and by the end when I saw it I just loved it I really felt a lot for this character Marcel the girl who played him did a beautiful job and it was just such a cute film and really almost a tearjerker by the end and I really absolutely loved that film. Number seven is Triangle of Sadness. This is a film when I went to Sunset to see this film it took a while because I actually took a bus to see this movie so it was an effort to go see this movie. Yeah this film I didn't know much about going in but by the end I was pleasantly surprised. This film was so entertaining from beginning to end it, and it shocks you. There's moment. There's a moment in this film I don't want to say, but fucking hell, that moment in that film was like I, I was just dying of laughter because of the shit that was just happening on the screen. It was just fantastic. Number six is The Banshee of Inner Sharon, the film directed by Martin McDonald. It's an amazing film. Let's just say it's an amazing, well-crafted film, well-written, well-directed, well-performed by Colin Farrell and the guy Brendan Gleeson. I thought both of them just did a splendid job in this movie, and it really is one of the best films of the year. It's definitely one of the most well-written, well-directed films of the year, and I thought that film was just freaking amazing and just funny at times, and the humor works beautifully. Number five is Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. This is a film that got higher and higher on the list just because of how much I love this movie. It's just such a well-crafted, well-made film. And it's a film that, listen, I saw the Robert Zemeckis' Pinocchio and it was just utter garbage. Just no love to it. And when I saw this film, it just really showed me how much care and love Guillermo del Toro has. And just how much effort was put in this movie. And it's just how such a beautiful, dark well-written, beautifully directed movie, and I just loved it. And it just got, it grew higher on the list when time goes on, and my love for it just increases. Number four is Avatar The Way of Water. This is a film that was just been looking forward to for 13 years, however long it took for this movie to be made, going into this movie. And it was utterly amazing. Just the visual effects were just awe-inspiring. Like, I, I never had an experience like that going into a movie. Like, everybody had that Jurassic Park experience. Just like a kid watching this movie. And this film made me feel like a kid. And not many movies this year made me feel like a kid. And I just loved it. And it was just such a visual, pleasing film. And everybody that did a great job. Cameron, the chemistry between everybody was just amazing. And it really made this film. And I loved every minute of it. So we're in the top three, ladies and gentlemen. This I don't think the top three is very much a shock for everyone. I think this is... Yeah, makes sense. This is my top three. It hasn't changed since thinking of it. But yeah, this is the top three and I wouldn't change it. The number three is Mr. Matt Reeves, The Batman. I loved it, loved it, loved it. I loved Robert Pattinson as The Batman. And I can't wait to see more of this character. And I thought Matt Reeves did this film just beautifully. 
and I just loved every minute of it, man. It's fucking Nirvana, something in the way. It is dark, it's gritty, it's gloomy, and Robert Pattinson's portrayal as the Batman is just remarkable, and I cannot wait to see what Matt Reeves does next. Number two, Top Gun Maverick. I fucking love this movie. This this film could easily be number one. I, honestly, the, these top two that I have right now are, in my opinion, number one. But if I'm gonna give number two, it's gonna be Top Gun Maverick because this film is amazing. It's Tom Cruise has become my action hero. And everything about this film was amazing. Me going, me before watching this movie, seeing the original Top Gun, actually really enjoying the original Top Gun, and actually seeing this movie and how much better and how much well written and directed it is, and it really just blows the original out of water, is something out of, out of the norm. And usually movies that come out 30 years later usually does not do this. And I loved Top Gun Man. Number one, everybody, we're at number one. This is my number one film of the year, and this is a film that I think really made me walk out the theater saying, really bringing back the love of film. Number one is Everything Everywhere All At Once. This is my number one film of the year. This film is the only film this year I legitimately walked out the theaters thinking, what the fuck? I, I've never seen something like this. You know, I've seen a lot of movies in my life, and I walked out saying, I've never seen something like this. I had an experience in the theater, and just the creativity of the films are just remarkable. This film is remarkable from beginning to end. This is the only film that I gave this year, a modern film, a six star, because it's just legendary in my opinion. I can see this movie so many times and just be so well engrossed. The writing is remarkable. The direction is remarkable. Michelle Yeoh is fucking awesome. And the dude from Indiana Jones who hasn't acted in what fucking decades just comes out of nowhere and just pulls out a performance. It's just mind-blowing, really mind-blowing. And I, I, this is the only film I walked out of thinking I saw something special. And that's why this is my number one, Everything Everywhere All At Once. So yeah, those are my top 10. It's a good year of films. I could easily give out like just films that I've just seen this year that could easily made this top 10 list. But I felt like this top 10 list is just I felt like this is right. This is the right order. And again, the order could easily go up and down, just whatever. But I just felt like those top three, the, the, the what I put in for number one and two and three, those are there. Those are my top three films of the year. But yeah, please let me know what is your top 10 films of the year if you have any. And yeah, let me know. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next review.